Oof. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? I'm Enrique and this is Easy Things to Draw. Uh, I hope you guys are having a really awesome day. Um, so, uh, basically let's get into it. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to sharpen a charcoal pencil. Uh, I have different brands of charcoal pencil. Somebody directly asked about the Derwent. This is a... Uh, can't, this is a general's charcoal. It's the same thing though. Uh, so a lot of the issues that people have are when they sharpen them uh, the traditional way, uh, they break, they snap. And uh, I, I kind of want to talk about kind of that topic and how to get by that and how you properly sharpen it. Uh, uh, before you do though, if you guys like anything within drawing, how to draw, if you guys like tutorials and drawing characters, if you guys like basic drawing, like the basics of 101, uh, please hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be posting about two times a week and I will answer a lot of questions. Like I said, this is a direct response to a comment. So I'm creating this video specifically because that comment came up. So, uh, like I said, feel free to comment below if you have any topics. Uh, but before you do, please search through... Um, Search, search through you know the files here. Go through the search engine uh, of the page and make sure I haven't covered it already. Uh, otherwise, like I guess I hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. So, <clears throat> so when it comes to these, uh, if you put them in a traditional sharpener, you can uh, kind of sharpen them down to like uh, something like this, like a normal pencil. Uh, the there's a couple of issues with that. One, it'll uh, depending on what brand of colored pencil you have. This is actually I think not even a color. This isn't a charcoal pencil. But uh, depending on what kind of pencil you have, it'll break pretty quickly because it's just soft. And even worse, and I've had this happen before a lot, is sometimes when you sharpen it like that and it's too rough, it'll vibrate, it'll break inside the pencil. So it's like a surprise later on when you're sharpening it and you're like, whoops, it just falls off. So I would suggest not shoving it into the electric sharpener. Uh, you could use a regular sharpener to slowly, you know, just just sharpen it a normal way, but I wouldn't use an electric one normally. Those are too rough. Um, and then maybe you could get it down to something like this with a, with a non-electric one. Uh, the way I like to do it and the way I was taught was you take a razor blade uh, and you can, I'm going to use a little like, uh, this is a knife for uh, sculpting, but any, any sharp edge will do, but I, I would literally get little square razor blades that they sell. They sell them in art stores as well or just anything, just like a square razor blade. Unfortunately, I don't have any. They're all dull, and I, I ended up using like this knife here. Uh, but be careful, guys. Be really, really careful. I don't want anybody to hurt themselves just because I'm showing them how to sharpen a pencil, okay? So, I but I would use that little razor blade or use this. And what you do is you look at the, uh, the wood part of it, and you're trying to expose you trying to take off some a lot of the wood, and I would push. By the way, when you're doing this, when you when you have whatever it is that you have, whether it be a blade, uh, razor blade on one side, on the dull side, remember <laughs> which one's the dull, which one's the sharp. You push with your finger as your that'll kind of get it started when you push with your thumb. See this thumb? You push it, and that'll get it. That'll that, that's so much easier than yanking it like this. I and mean, you can do that too. Yeah, you know. There's a possibility you bam, it, you'll break it as well. If you're too rough as well, you might just snap it and you have to keep going. But I, li I like starting it off with, ow, that kind of, see that hurt my finger. Um, but just practice with it. You're finessing. The goal of it right now is to get, expose the lead a little bit. And I have a decent amount of it exposed right there. Uh, by the way, I would do this over a trash can. <laughs> I'm only doing this here to show you guys otherwise I would, I would mostly do it over a trash can <laughs> so forget all this this mess here see this side is too see how big that that lead is and it's over here it's small i would keep going on that right here toward the edge i would when it gets lower i would probably not use my thumb Sorry, this is boring, but uh, let me get this lead off, and I'll just go to the next step. Obviously, when you do this on your own, it's a little... It's actually about the same speed, I would say. So, 
expose as much as you want. Uh, I, I kind of usually expose this much, and the reason is that I want I want a larger side to kind of uh, you know, oops, create these. Uh, what do you call it? Like these softer shadows. I like having a bit of the lead more than more than just like what this would have, like a normal pencil or normal uh, the way you would normally sharpen a pencil. Excuse me for that. Let me move that out of the way because it's gonna get messier. <laughs> That's why I say do this over a trash can. Um, so get as much of the wood as you can off the, like a, I guess a little bit off. Make sure it tapers up. You really want it to, uh, you know, taper up. You want it to like have that shape, that kind of like a bullet shape. So I wouldn't say that. Maybe like a, maybe like a bullet shape at the end of it. Alrighty. And the next thing you do, by the way, here's another thing that I've seen. So I'm just going to tell you the stuff I've seen, and you're kind of you're going to be like, no one does that. <clears throat> but in reality, people do do this. I don't know what it is. You just you know, there's a train of thought. You know, just uh, they don't think. But I've seen people sharpen toward themselves and cut themselves. So don't do that. I know that sounds uh, like an obvious thing, but you'd be very, 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 very surprised. <laughs> people just like. Do, 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 do. Ah, you know, like this thing, it catches here, and then that gives it propulsion, and that, that kind of like cuts your finger. It's, it's bad. So never sharpen toward yourself. You're always sharpen away, away. Yeah. Alright, see ya! Always sharpen away. <laughs> I'll say bye to my dad. Um, but anyways. Next thing uh, you would do is uh, they, they sell these little sandpaper squares, which I've had on the screen here. They sell these in art stores as well. Um, you can just use regular sandpaper too, but see how it has like little squares you can rip off. You can use this or you can use regular sandpaper. It doesn't really matter. I don't know what grain in all honesty. I just kind of bought this from the art store. So, I mean, it's not a big deal either way. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the exposed lead and you're going to, whoops, wow, that's wild. A chunk of lead came off. You're gonna sharpen it against this thing. Not too hard, because you just snap it right off. Like kinda like what happened there. And as I'm as I'm doing this, right? As I'm going back and forth, I'm literally I'm turning it. Kinda. Kinda. See how my hand's doing this? The reason for that is I want it to be pretty even on all sides. Otherwise you're gonna do this and it's gonna be like it's going to be completely uh, different on one side and then the other. So I'm doing this kind of a little bit. And you, you'll learn it. You know, it's, it's kind of feels weird initially. But muscles in your hand will do it and you'll just be, it'll be second nature. And you're like, okay, whatever. And they got to blow it there because there's all these little filaments uh, as well after you do that. It's going to look at it. This is about okay. There's a little bit there. I could, a little bit of wood here, like. I mean, this in itself is almost a little bit of an art, you know. But you don't, 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 don't overthink it. Honestly, this is something I used to overthink a lot in the past, but it's not necessary. Anyways, that's pretty much it, actually. And so that should give me a, uh, yeah, pretty soft edge there. And if you don't remember soft and hard edges tutorial, go check that out on the basic shading, basics of shading. Uh, I talk about the hard edge being this, and then a soft edge being that, soft and hard. And you, what, this is the purpose of having it like this to get those softer edges a little bit better. This works a lot better on uh, on smooth print, uh, smooth a smooth print. This is uh, just regular construction paper, you know. But, uh, I'm sorry, regular computer paper. But anyways, that's how you sharpen a charcoal pencil. That's the way I use it. Uh, you know what I mean? It, it's kind of up to you. Uh, that's just one way of doing it. Uh, if you guys did find that understandable, please hit that like button. Uh, and click that little bell icon for more drawing tips. If you guys have any questions on, let's say, other arts, art tools, art supplies, uh, any of that, please give me a message. And I will pro I'll try really hard to... Do a video on it so like i said this was a direct response to a comment i made a whole video based on a comment and i will do that plenty so just uh hit that comment below and uh you know share the video if you can too that helps a lot if you share it on facebook thanks again thanks a lot guys i'll see you next time